Let's face it, life isn't easy. If you're stuck in a bad relationship, betrayed or afraid of tomorrow, financially insecure or desperate for a breakthrough, you've come to the right place. Dr. Carmen Hara is a renowned psychologist, intuitive, relationship expert, and best-selling author, and she's here to give you the miracle guidance you need. Her new call show, Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life, offers profound wisdom, practical advice, daily exercises, and empowering predictions, all for you. Dr. Hara's show aims to eliminate everyday problems, big and small, with topics like healing your relationships, reclaiming your power, achieving better health, dealing with loss, and so much more. Regain the joy, stability, and fulfillment you deserve to feel. Tune in to Miracle Guidance for Everyday Life with host Dr. Carmen Hara, live every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and find the answers you've been looking for. Ah, good evening, everybody. Uh, what a pleasure to be with you tonight because um, right before the holiday, I thought about an amazing topic, um, how to heal uh, during the holiday season. Because holidays are supposed to be the most wonderful time of the year. But you know what? Sometimes pro- pro- uh, they prove to be the most uh, distressing. So uh, a lot of things happen in our life during the year. Let's say we've been, we are gone to a divorce, we have a financial hardship, or someone in our family just died. So you don't want to be just so cheerful. Uh, so um, this adds actually to the nostalgia that we feel when we look back on happier times. Uh, so many, many of us uh, wonder how to deal with the holiday season, how to uh, uh, go beyond feeling blue and just feeling merry. So um, I put together, you know, uh, some concepts, some uh, suggestions, uh, some sort of tips to help you understand that um, holidays are actually a great opportunity to heal. And it's up to you whether you choose to heal. It's completely your decision. And um, you, I, I, I'm trying to give you some tools to avi- avoid the, um, the depression associated with the holidays and to alleviate the state of anxiety. So I'm also going to take your calls. And as you know, this is a calling show. So I'm here for you to um, talk to you directly in case you're facing uh, uh, any kind of a serious situation in your life, anything psychological, sometimes even I can guide you through some health problems um, or um, sort of guiding you into where you know you feel a blockage and what is exactly something that you don't know how to deal with. So <clears throat> that's why, you know, um, a therapist exists in your life to, to help you. But I think of me much more than that. I think of somebody who uh, wants to... Um, uh, open up your, 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 your spirit, to open up your soul, to make you see things differently. So, as I said, tonight, my goal is to help you heal for the holidays and uh, to make you realize that, um, you know, holidays are uh, indeed a, a time to reflect upon everything. Um, and sometimes maybe you dream about seasons, as I said, when you are happier than you are now. And it happens to everybody, especially, you know, if you, if you lose somebody. Uh, so how hard it is, I, I, I talk from my own experience. When it's Thanksgiving or Christmas or a New Year's Eve, and I always think of my late husband, I always think of my mom, my dad, who are no more with me. And I try to remember how wonderful those holidays are, were. So um, <clears throat> from all, all, of, all of you who relate to this, you know, I want to tell you that um, there, there is a way to heal. And I'm going to go and give you my, my tips and the way I am working on my own self when the holidays are, are happening in my life, too. Um, but holidays also disrupt your daily routine. And holidays can make you feel more sensitive than usual because actually you're supposed to do more than, than what you're doing on a daily basis. So it adds to the stress. It adds to 
the things that you want to accomplish. What they do, you know, they elevate emotions. So when emotions are like taking over, never allow emotion to take over your, your life, you need to, to think about healing uh, this time of the year, you know, because otherwise you will feel even um, uh, more uh, demoralized and probably even seriously depressed. Because um, you feel the world around you. You have this great awareness this time of a year. But in the same time when you are like this, it's a time to introspect. It's a time to reflect. It's a time to embrace your pain and erase your pain and gain like a new uh, positive perspective of your life. So that's why I always think that a holiday, on the other hand, is a challenge because it's the greatest opportunity to heal. Healing your old karma, your family karma, your um, make men's family rifts, because that, that's what a lot of people experience. Um, and as I said, you know, I sympathize with all of you who went through a loss uh, lately or in the last number of years. And um, I know how hard it is uh, to be without them. Uh, but also you have to think of all the blessings that you have to be uh, thankful for. Uh, so you have to open to the acknowledgement of what's good in your life and get ready to receive more of the good. Uh, and I'm going to go with you through some of the, um, um, you know, ways you can cultivate in a wellness during the holiday. I'm going to go with you through some kind of a ritual. Now, rituals exist since the dawn of time. As rituals that you can do when you feel down, when you can feel blue, when you can feel sad, when you can feel stressed. And what it does is that promotes that peace of mind, that emotional wellness I'm talking about. So I think the first thing that you have to, to do during the holidays is to repair, you know, the damage that has been created. Like it's, it's the right time to end the arguments. It's the right time to put an end to the fights. It's right now. It, it, it's, that's why I think holidays exist, because it gives you the opportunity to make peace with the people in your life that you haven't been in good terms with. Um, it also, practicing those symbolic acts, like I write them a letter of wishing them happy holidays. I write them a letter of forgiveness. I write somebody who hasn't been good to me after forgiving them, I write them a letter of well wishes, and that's sublime, that's divine. Admitting that things were wrong and saying, I'm probably sorry. If I did something wrong, I'm sorry. It's great to say you're sorry. It's great to say, um, I I'd love to, 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 to fix this between us so that this negativity doesn't exist anymore. This broken relationship can be fixed. And um, I don't know if you, ever knew, but the word for give comes from a Greek word that means uh, to detach. So when um, Jesus said, forgive them because they don't know what they're doing, the reason he did that is to detach. So he detached, you know, from that situation so he can, so his spirit can go in the next dimension, go to heaven. If you, if you attached a soul that is attached to the negativity, uh, usually, especially when, when we're talking about the passing in another dimension, that's why we have ghosts, poltergeists, souls that never make peace. They, they don't know how to forgive. Forgiveness is essential for your own health. If you want to be healthy, if you don't want to develop diseases, if you don't want to have cancer, depression, anxiety, uh, uh, and I can, I can go on and on and on, you know, listing all kinds of diseases, autoimmune disorder that do come from an emotional you, from the fact that you lose control uh, uh, over your feelings. And, and then it, it, that's the moment in which you start to self-destruct. That's the moment when a cell will mutate into a cancerous cell. That's when your blood pressure is gonna go up. That's when you develop uh, uh, arterial fibrillation. And all of this serious health problem, they do come from your inability to remove yourself from the difficult situation to practice what is called the ritual of forgiveness. Because um, forgive is good for you before anything else. 
as I said, it re you removed yourself, you unplugged yourself energetically. So um, this is also a time of the year in which, you know, we used to pray with this to invite the, 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 the divine world into our life. And also it's good to pray for those who are back to you because that brings you peace of mind. That makes you say, okay, why should I hold on to that, to that anger, to that negativity? Because I'm, I'm causing harm to myself. I should let that go and practice, you know, praying for these people, forgiving them and praying for their well-being. Because whatever they did to you is their karma, the way you respond to what they did to you. It becomes your own action, which implies it becomes your own karma. So seeking like closure, because that's what you do. You seek closure. Uh, you cannot come to a peaceful resolution with someone without first reaching peace within yourself. So relinquishing those destructive emotion and also forgiving you first. So I said, you forgive them, but before you forgive them, you forgive you for whatever you hold on to, for whatever action probably you did in the wrong way. So it starts with your own forgiveness and it starts with your own prayers for your own soul. So um, that, believe it or not, will help you detach from what brings you pain. Because pain is when you constantly, you know, stay in that state of mind of uh, being sad and upset and, and, and disturbed about whatever somebody did to you in, in whatever situation or circumstances were negative in your case. As much as you can try to delete them like a file in the computer, you're actually protecting you from from allowing the pain to grow, and it operates in a in a in an amazing way on your brain. Uh, so, um, as I said, this is this time of the year, perfect time to distance yourself from bad situation, harmful people, bad memories. Um, time to separate the source of pain from the source of your joy, but introspect the source of the pain first. So don't don't feel guilty for your own uh, um, uh, for for your for your own um, uh, uh, mistakes. Don't feel guilty for for um, leaving certain things behind. So dispose all of these things and because you you don't hold on of the things you don't longer need. So letting go of the things you don't need of the people of the object of that embodiment of negativity is amazingly healing. That's why if you ever had a chance to heal, it's during the holidays. It's when you actually realize the togetherness, the oneness, the totality, the family, uh, because that's what holidays are all about. Holidays are about a family, about the togetherness, the coming together and, and, and thanking God for the food, for, the, for each other. But when we are in discord with each other, you know, and we are angry with the people in our life, when we hold on to those negative feelings, how in the name of God are we ever going to release that pain? So that's why I'm saying, you know, you introspect in holidays better than any time of the year. Um, so disposing what you don't need, uh, throwing away uh, 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 pictures of your ex, you know, <laughs> And donate the gifts uh, 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 that were given to you by somebody who you ended up in a in a bad situation, a divorce. Donate them to people, you know what I mean, who might use them without attaching to a memory that has to do with that particular object. So it's it's a great thing to be able to give. I always advise people: make sure you're capable of giving. Giving is is means receiving. You know, giving to others is releasing, you know, your your attachment from anything that also creates suffering. So, um, so detach from what brings pain and relaxing, you know, relaxing, because when you spend holidays, you also want to relax. We are so tense during the so-called, we drive ourselves crazy, you know, trying to please everybody, to buy gifts for everybody, to be there for everybody. And, and then at the end of the day, we realize we probably don't even have enough money or probably we're not really uh, um, capable of, um, uh, uh, how should I say, um, of detaching at that degree. So it's like a, it's a big test. 
you know, I always do something and I want to advise you to do the same thing like I do. You know, I love, um, and we heard a lot about visualizing things and putting things in motion and reality reflects what the mind projects. I think that's one of my most famous quotes I ever wrote in any of my books. But I really believe that reality is a projection, what's inside us. But during the holidays, you can do something that has to do with writing. So you you organize your thoughts and you write a letter to to the future you, to the future of you, to everything that you, you might want to become. So holidays is a moment of introspection in which you tell yourself, this, this time of the year, I'm, I made a decision that as next year is coming, I'm going to be a better person. And explain yourself how you're going to do that. Because by thinking and thinking about something, uh, your brain gets wired uh, through the action and the brain starts to be reprogrammed. Um, so always tell yourself that you will get through everything and list them. Uh, when you write that letter, make a list with all your struggles. And how are you going to overcome that? What bothers you? What's um, what's hurting you? So cre create that kind of an uh, the ideal scenario for the next year. Let's say I'm going to be there. I'm going to do this. I'm going to travel. Who I'm going to be with? You know, what is the version? Of, uh, of of the the best version of you for for the coming year. So uh, uh, do all of this in writing because there's a Latin proverb that says, "Vorba vola scripta manes." So what we sp uh, speak flies, but what we write stays. So put it in writing. So I should say next year during the holidays you're gonna go back and read what you said a year ago, probably five years ago. So keep 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 a diary. Keep a a notebook with all your uh, um, uh, emotions and all your letters uh, to yourself and to the future you. So I call it write a letter to the future. So, uh, um, and I kind of like that, but I'm going to take a break and I'll be back with you at Margo Lelani. Don't go anywhere. I'll, I'll be speaking with you in a minute. Best of the holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio, IOM FM. Om Times Magazine is one of the leading online content providers of positivity, wellness, and personal empowerment. A philanthropic organization, their net proceeds are funneled to support worldwide charity initiatives via Humanity Healing International. Through their commitment to creating community and providing conscious content, they aspire to uplift humanity on a global scale. Connect at ometimes.com. Ome Times, creating a more conscious lifestyle. Melissa from Michigan. I work an extra part-time job serving lunch at my child's school, but I still can't afford to put food on our table. Daniel from California. Choosing whether to pay the rent or pay to fix the car to get to work doesn't leave us with much at all. Now we can't even pay for meals. Hunger is a story we can end. End it at feedingamerica.org. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Looking for inspiration? Want to be inspired? Not sure where to go. Find Mark and Kim every Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Eastern on Inspired Living. Topics will elevate consciousness and range from metaphysics to the human and social experience and all things spiritual. Welcome to an inspired community that offers support, encouragement, and new ways of thinking. You are, you are the, the inspired, inspired and, and the inspiration. inspiration. And I'm back and we are talking about the holidays because guess what? Thanksgiving is right in the corner and you probably guys are just preparing for such a beautiful, you know, 
celebration of uh, oneness and totality and family and, uh, and, and togetherness. It's all about being together. And it's so hard when we separate ourselves from, from um, the source of where we're coming, from the family, from the, pe from the people we love. Uh, we feel like our heart is broken. So that's why it's important, you know, during the holiday to open your heart. Um, to, 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 it's a tradition to actually do things for others, no matter who they are, to cater to others during the holidays, to think, uh, what am I going to buy? How am I going to decorate? Um, and all the thoughts, you know, in your mind, you know, they, they, they come to you. And because you're more sensitive, I always recommend to open up to others and discuss your emotional state. Let's say you've been upset with one of member of your family for the entire year. But now it's time you release your thoughts. You release all those feelings and your emotion. And you want to come up with new solution. You know, you don't want to, you don't want to stay in the same situation. It's so unhealthy. It's so toxic. That's why I never recommend people to stay in situation relationships that are toxic. Um, the dialogue. Dialogue is such a therapeutic tool. Um, therapeutic tool, such a therapeutic tool. So to have a dialogue with a family member, which you trust to have a dialogue with a friend of yours. So usually pick up a person who's, who's a good listener, that you can confess about your fears, your hopes, your challenges. And you also listen to them in return and offer them honest advice, because this is what I'm talking, the dialogue. And this is such a healing technique. Uh, that's why when you actually go to a therapist, a psychologist, to a counselor, what you actually do, you start talking. You talk, you know, and you engage in a possible dialogue, but at least you need to speak because you get it out of your chest. Um, and it always, as I say, holidays, you let go of the old to welcome the new. So... Uh, uh, I'm going to go and take some of your calls because I have a lot to, to talk to you about holidays. But before I talk to Margot, I want you guys to know that, um, uh, you know, I offer 30% uh, off of my sessions. So if you're interested to speak with me, this is a great time to get a session for a very good price and, and like uh, be able to have a long time of speaking with me about what is going on in your life. See if I can come up with the. Uh, solutions for you because sometimes when you're too emotional you don't see things for yourself you don't know how to proceed you have the wrong uh, the, the wrong interpretation of things because you trap in, in that emotional self uh, my book karma queen guide to relationship you still can find it i'm releasing soon a new book that i'm very excited about but if you want to learn about relationship love relationship if you want to know what it is to be in, in a karmic relationship, what it means to have a compromised one, or what are toxic relationships uh, all about and how you can overcome and how you can end up by meeting your soulmate and believe in such things like soulmate and soulful relationship, then my book that is a guide to relationship, and we called it the Karma Queens because it was supposed to actually be a big TV show. We only did an episode on Bravo. But, um, you know, it is what it is, and I'm glad for the opportunity. And, uh, and again, it's a calling show, my wonderful friends. Call in 202-570-7057. The producer, Christopher, he, he's an amazing producer. He's going to connect you with me, 202-570-7057. So if you're listening, I would love to hear what you have to say. I'd love to find out how you spend your holidays, and if there's somebody in your life you need to create healing, and how are we going to go about that? So, uh, um, yeah, it's not easy sometimes, as I said, to enjoy Thanksgiving without a loved one or to enjoy Christmas without a loved one. But we're just around the corner from Thanksgiving. So how difficult it is if, let's say, your mom just passed or you just went through a divorce or you just lost your home or you, have, uh, you don't have money and you want to buy gifts. So people go through all kinds of experiences in a way similar experiences through life and we need to know how to deal with them psychologically so that's why i'm doing this show so I'm, I'm talking how to enjoy thanksgiving without a loved one that's a lot to say about this this uh, 
But before I go there, I'm going to um, uh, advise you if you can go to carmenhara.com and subscribe to my newsletter. If you have, if you want some uh, small free sessions with me, short sessions with me, I can give you that if you become a part of my family on Facebook, Instagram, on my YouTube channel. I have two YouTube channels. I have a YouTube um, with my music. If you want to listen to beautiful songs, to the album that I just re released in London, uh, like uh, almost, I should say, um, seven weeks ago. So if you want to listen to love songs, if you want to listen to my advice, I always do a video almost every week. I did a video um, uh, uh, the other day talking uh, about uh, change in itself. Um, uh, I did videos on relationship uh, on different apps. I did videos on almost everything, on tips about longevity. So um, uh, I try to diversify uh, my topic. But I'm going to go to Margot, and I'm going to welcome her to my show. Hi, my dear Margot. How are you? I'm great. How are you doing? You holding up? Everything good? Absolutely. You know, it's That's a matter how I of, feel. of thinking. You know, if you if you think, oh, I'm upset, I'm, I am in as a reason of being upset, I'm miserable, then you become miserable. And you know what? The way the neurons in the brain work, they stick with each other and create clusters of neurons, like, like the kids in a classroom, you know, and they stick with each other. So if you... Um, uh, 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 you know, uh, start thinking negatively. It's very hard to snap out and think positively. So we cannot afford that negative projection of the reality. Though we have a million of reasons to feel miserable, you know. We all do. Mm. But if you say, well, well, if glad. you tell yourself, you know what I mean? I'm glad I'm happy. I'm glad I'm okay. I'm glad I don't have cancer. I'm glad I have a, a roof on my head. I'm glad I have a car to move. I'm glad I have a child. So find reasons to be glad for. Find reason to celebrate. Don't look for a million of reasons that might make you demoralized, depressed, down, unfulfilled. And so it's a matter of life is attitude. Nothing can hurt you more than your own attitude and the way you respond to life. So let's respond to life in such a way that we can help ourselves, you know, uh, 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 get better, get better, improve, uh, um, move forward, uh, change the situation that need to be changed. So never get stuck into the, the wrong thinking. So, so tell me about you, Margot. Honey, I'm positive and I got all positive friends. And that's the way it should Good. be. It should be Life this is way. great. Sometimes you that's get annoyed. It, that's it, that's it, that's it. Well, I mean, you can you know, get annoyed, sometimes but you, you can, can get annoyed. You can get a lot, a lot annoyed a lot of times. <laughs> I know, but happen. you get over yeah. it real quick. A lot of people don't know how to get over it. Well, they and, better and learn. I speak for my own experience of handling people left for 30 years. You know, morning and night, I speak with people about them. The way they think, the way they reason, the way they act, the way they envision the the level of their awareness, how they handle a situation that other people will handle that situation completely opposite. So and let me so, tell you this, please. Some people sure. get off on negative stimulation. I agree. That's what right. this is about. Right. I get off on positive stimulation. Well, we're doing that this was, show. That was the for relationship. People like you, for people like you who are willing, you know what I mean, to acknowledge that the positive is the one that you need. The positive is the one that makes you happy. That's so right. So that's why this now, is we all had about. talked a few months ago about I lost my bracelet. Nobody ever returned it. I'm over well, it. I got over it. You, I'm not like going to dwell over, on it. You get over everything. You get over, over losing everything that's important, you know, in your life. I had you know, to get we used over to say it. that li life takes you away what what you uh, you know what what you, you know that takes you away to what you want to keep actually you know so yeah but they're uh, going to get all karma these back that you 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 keep in this life you know you actually that you you so attach and you think you might need the moment you transcend this world you know what I mean that, that, that all of that you realize had no value and. A bracelet is well, it has something value material, because of, but it had an emotional value, yes. It was sentimental. Anyway, right, exactly. whoever didn't return it, honey, karma comes back to everyone. Got to oh, be 100%. careful in life. 
You know that the, 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 those commandments don't steal, don't don't do this, don't take right, what is not right. yours. Karma you can't do back. this. You can't do this because you know sooner or later, it it and, and you know the way it's coming back is really bad. <laughs> I mean, yeah, okay, really you say, bad. You steal a hundred dollars, okay, so you let's lose talk ten thousand. All right, I want to talk about love life. I'm on the East Coast, but I'm going to Los Angeles, California, in January. Now, Fabulous. I've never been ready for marriage because it's a responsibility. Right. It is a responsibility. Yeah, but there comes a time when it's great to have somebody in your life, somebody who is. I know, um, honey, you got to be ready for that. Right, absolutely. I cannot agree with you more. Cannot I mean, agree with you more. Yes. Okay, I'm getting ready. I'm 90% up there. So how do you think it's going to work in L.A.? You think I'm going to meet somebody that's going to right. maybe jump for joy? Right. I think you're going to meet a lot of new people. I think the energy is completely opposite from the energy you've been experiencing. I think you're going to have a, an amazing time over there. You're going to feel so way better, so different. You know, everything is going to feel different. Um, Good. In so many ways, you're going to feel better um, uh, health-wise. You know, you're going to have a sense of... Uh, 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 Doing things you couldn't do, you know, probably because of the weather, the, the, the air, the, the energy, it's the energy of the field. It's going to make you feel more powerful and more alive and more awake and more aware. And you meet a no, lot I of friends. No, I feel that friends. way now. Friend, friend, yeah, friends. So, you, so even there, there's even an extra excessive energy, you know. Uh, okay. Because you're in a new environment, so we used to say, change your, uh, change your area, change your luck, change your place to change your luck around, to create like a new reality. You're creating a new reality, and that new That's... reality brings you a lot of friends and brings you a, a person in your life that I feel is meant to come in your life. I do believe that you going there has a big reason, huge reason, you know. All right, I'll let you know. So... I'll be calling you from there. <laughs> Three hours different. Well, you can call from anywhere, anywhere. You know that. No, there'll be four o'clock there. Right. Seven, seven that's, over here. That's true. Now, it's uh, true. you're in Florida. I want you to have a beautiful Thanksgiving like I know you well. Aww. Have that that's sweet so potato sweet. pie. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever, pumpkin pie. <laughs> and right. enjoy your time on the planet. Ah, that's what that's I'm doing. It. And that's, have a ball here. I have, have a wonderful such a, time. Such a fun doing the show, talking to people, uh, you know, writing from my own experiences, doing music. Um, because I, everything I do, I actually don't do because I expect something in return. And that's the beauty of doing things. You know, in, right. in life, we, we sign a contract that we have to go to work because we're going to be paid. So there's an agreement. But when you reach a stage in your life when you don't do anything because you expect something back or you expect to be paid for a show uh, or you expect to do um, a song because you want to be paid for it. No, I'm not doing any of this to be rewarded in any shape or form. I'm doing it out of And that is putting a different energy in the, in the work that I do. You know, there's no expectation. So I'm doing it from my heart and it's an amazing feeling. I'm glad you know, for you. You'll be blessed by the Lord. You'll be blessed by the Lord, doll. We are all we right. Are have blessed, a beautiful time. I love you, Margot. Thank you so okay. much. And happy Thanksgiving and call me from there. Uh, no, I'll in January. I'll talk to you again. Well, you call me anytime you want. You call me Thank anytime. You, honey. And hopefully that bracelet, you know what I mean, uh, will be returned to you because it's taken by somebody who knows you. It's like not it, not a stranger took it, you know what I mean? And it's not, okay, a, we'll see. it's not sold, you know. It's still in the hands of somebody. Why it takes them so long? Some people sometimes have guilt. God knows what's in their mind, you know, but hopefully, you know, with the divine intervention, all of this is going to be the way it's meant to be. All right, right. Margot, I believe that. Okay, Dal, be well, be happy. Too. Okay, you too, okay. you too. Thank bye, you for bye calling. Bye-bye. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I was just talking about um, uh, how to celebrate, how to enjoy Thanksgiving without the people that you just lost, which is so common happening to all of us losing uh, our loved ones. Um, and it's just so painful when holiday come and they're not with you anymore. Uh, but I really believe that there is a way to 
to stay in touch, you know, with those who are not. So, so if the moment when you decide what I can communicate is when you will start receiving so those signs and that guidance if you pay attention. And uh, my advice is um, to try something like, first of all, acknowledge that you can communicate with those who are no more with you. That's going to make your holidays better. That's going to make you feel, hey, uh, I'm, put, I'm, I'm making the table beautiful, but I also leave one chair for my mom who's no more with me. Uh, so, so before you step out of the Thanksgiving dinner, speak out loud. You know, the, those on the other dimension can hear us and see us. We cannot hear them or see them. Very few people can establish uh, and can hear sometimes things coming from another, the other, the other realm. But um, when you start speaking loud, you will be amazed to see that uh, you start to receive sign signals. I remember that um, once I had um, a man coming to my to my office, and he was such a skeptic, um, big skeptic. And he um, entered the door, and the moment he entered the door of my office, the lights went on and on and on and on and on. I've never seen that person in my life. And I told him, I said, do you see what's going on with these lights? He said, yeah. I said, well, that's your mother. He said, how do you know my mother is dead? <coughs> I said, because she's the only one who does uh, this, uh, uh, that, um who can I I impact on electronics, the spirit can do that. And the man never left my office for like two, three hours crying and I turned a skeptic into a believer. <laughs> but my point is that um, there is a way, you know what I mean, to try to establish the, this connection. Okay, you can establish yourself that you find a medium to do it. You know, in time, you know, the words from the other side will flow, will, will, will come in a way, you know what? Sometimes you can re release emotion this way when you speak your mind freely about connecting with those who now more, are no more with you. Um, but I, I really think that um, it's amazing to be able to celebrate their memory during the holiday. I'm going to take a break and then I'm going to talk also to Leilani. So we have a short break right now and we'll be back in a second. Best of holistic, spiritual, and conscious world. Om Times Radio. IOM FM. Ascending Hearts is no ordinary dating site, but a spiritual dating site with a purpose to link you with your soulmate. We engineer the serendipity so you can trust that you will attune with someone that has the same matching vibration as you. Ascending Hearts, the conscious dating site for the spiritually aware. Try Ascending Hearts for free. AscendingHearts.com My name is Victor Furman. Some call me The Voice. I've always been fascinated with human nature, spirituality, science, and the crossroads at which they meet. Join me Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio, and we'll explore these topics and so much more on Destination Unlimited. I'm Fidel Nshombo. I was born in a city called the Bukavu in the Congo. We were a loving family. And then, boom, everything that I had disappeared in a single day. People think that when you are a refugee and they resettle you to America, and all your problems are done. They don't understand that that's the beginning of everything. I was not born a refugee. I was made one. It's time we welcome refugee families with open arms. Learn more at EmbraceRefugees.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council. And I'm back, and we're talking tonight about how to heal during the holiday season. And I really believe that 
if you go into a hard time during holidays, it's great to have a strong support system. Like for instance, spending Thanksgiving with people who offer you the most moral support. So this is the time to take things easy and do what makes you feel comfortable. So you don't have to push yourself to be with people who make you feel unease on that day. So stick closely with those who can boost your strength, boost your vitality, whether they are family or friends. So don't be afraid to call on those who can show you unconditional love and patience when you need them most. So it's very important, as I said, during this time of the year to have the people who are your moral support. And during holidays, you know, you can feel very down and overwhelmed and depressed and and uh, unhappy with the fact that you cannot probably buy for everybody and there's not enough time. And the stress, the stress is the number one factor that is causing, causing problem. But uh, I want you to work with your emotion because there's also a grieving process sometimes, you know, during holidays. And that grieving process is unique for each of us and everyone heals at a different rate. So if let's say you have your Thanksgiving without your family or your mom or your parents, or you just happen to be alone, you know, you have to, uh, to feel happy. And if you don't, you have to stabilize your emotion and use them in, in, a, in a positive way. It's perfectly fine to release your pain, as I said before, and cry. You know, if, if, you, if you cry, you release your emotion, that's fine. Um, but emotion can be difficult to control. And you should allow your feelings to run their course while you're putting an effort to improve your life and your mood little by little. You know, it's, it's all about seeking peace. True wisdom means seeking peace in all situations, especially in those you can change. So what I want, I want you to uh, adopt this attitude of, of, of change and adopt the mindset of feeling tranquility. One of the things that we, we fail to do is allow ourselves to release everything that, that overwhelms us and feel that sense of tranquility, uh, which means remind yourself that at least your loved one that are no longer there with you are no more in pain and, and they're spiritual presence will forever be felt. So I want you to reinforce those that create comfort and ease, uh, you know, for those who sometimes feel guilt and regret. I just counseled recently somebody who feels constant guilt that her mother died because of her, because she took her to a place and over there, she didn't have the real uh, um, medical uh, caring and she thinks it's her fault. But I really believe that when somebody's time is to die, that person will die anyhow. So um, uh, just I make a parenthesis, but understand that there's a greater reason for the death of a, a, of a loved one, which you will understand fully in time. You know, we don't really understand. We don't comprehend that. We don't understand that the death is the new dimension, that we don't actually really die. So, that I should, I think, should be a topic one day in one of my shows to talk about what happens to to us, you know, when when our life on Earth comes to an end. Where are we really going? Um, but again, a holiday like Thanksgiving can feel heavy if the one you love is not is absent from the table, is not there. So, um, um, but discover a deep seated sense of acceptance when that happens and feel the. Um, undenying present of the loved one in your life, even if they not exist in physical form. So this is always something that I recommend to everybody. I'm going to invite Leilani to the show. Hi, my Leilani. How are you, my dear? Hello, beautiful Carmen. I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm uh, excited to speak about this topic. This is yes. a topic that uh, I, I, I uh, relate to this. It's like very close to home. It's like something I do experience as, Thanksgiving comes and I'm without my husband. You know, I always oh, feel this way. You know, it's the, yeah. that pain and I'm trying to tell the people like me what to do about it, you know. So Beautiful. tell me about you. Well, I actually am going to be alone for the holidays. I'm going to be dog sitting three dogs. Um, oh, that you're not alone. You're with three dogs. What's more <laughs> well, beautiful yeah. than that? 
Um, I've never really felt close to my family except my little sister, and she's just now back in my life. She left my life for a few years, but I'm I'm at peace with it. I feel like I realize like we make a lot out of these earth plane holidays, and right. I just really I want to be grateful every day and feel like I'm celebrating every day. I did want to share with you. There's a phenomenon that's been happening for a few years where I'm finding dimes and now I'm finding quarters and I put mm. I decided to save all those coins and I put them on my altar and there might be like 60 coins. Wow. Uh, and it's fascinating. I feel like it's um, somebody, um, an ancestor or something because I find them like – I'll go to the bus stop and I'll look over the curb and there's a dime. You know, right. they're, they're, it's a definitely a message from spirit realm. But I feel like it's a, it's a message coming from um, somebody who hasn't been on earth for a long time. I mean, it might be my dad that died when I was two. A man. It's definitely a man is leaving that those those coins for you. Yeah. Oh really? It might be my grandfather. I don't know. I've never. And um... I feel like somebody long time dad. I I feel like somebody who's um who died of um lung related disease or something. Oh, okay. With breathing. It's my grandfather. He died yeah. of emphysema. He was a That's smoker. That's it. The okay. lung related disease. That's the man who's living okay. with the coins. Actually oh. see him. He was really, really um, skinny when he passed. He was yeah. he couldn't breathe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see this. I see him in here in front of my eyes. Okay. He's telling me that he was mm. always trying to be in touch with you since you were very young, like following you everywhere. Oh, you know. Okay. Huh. He said he followed you when you used to go to school. He follow you in different circumstances. He said, you are such a beautiful soul. He said that you guys mm -hmm. met somewhere in the 17th century. So you guys had another life together. 17th century or 7th century? The 17th century. Yeah. Okay. Talks about yeah. the 17th century of a life in somewhere in the area. Poland is right now something in that mm -hmm. part of the world. Yeah. He said you had another life together mm. in which you spend more time together. You get to know each other better. And in the, this life was um, uh, something that didn't quite happen this way. Yeah. Um, he also shows me a desert and he said you're going to travel to the Middle East, which is mm. an interesting message. But I, if he says that, I know that you will. Okay. Um. Hmm. That's he my says, mother's father. Right, right. He says that you are, um, he shows me an old ring if you have it. Do you have it? Uh, was that his wife's ring? My grandmother, I never knew. Right, exactly. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just a simple band. Right. It doesn't have to be sophisticated or too valuable when it comes to diamonds or something no there's yeah the, the, the power of that what the power of the symbol you know i always believe that actually jewelry were creating because of the symbolistic behind mm -hmm. so i feel like there's a, there's an interesting uh, message that he is um, referring to by mentioning this this ring to you hmm, that's interesting I, I found that very interesting actually yes because his, um, so he got remarried and married a woman, and then her daughter took everything, and so we got nothing when, when he died. The right. the, da the daughter of his wife, um, I don't know what happened, but apparently the will said she got everything, so we didn't get, in and I got nothing from him. My mom got nothing. And yeah, I was thinking that about actually that. that was not the real will. Oh, I was thinking about that woman the other day and just how angry I was. But I'm like, oh, it's time to forgive her. It was not the real right. will. Yeah. Mm. Well, mm. forgive her because there's not too much you can do. 
And he said that she didn't got, at the end, she didn't got anything out of it either, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, she got you his know, house. When, she got everything. Yeah, but at the yeah. end, she's not getting, I don't know what the symbol of not getting herself anything either at the end. Meaning in, in the long run, she's not, ba- she didn't benefit. As mm-hmm. much as apparently she did, at the end she didn't. Do you know anything about this woman in this in the world right now? No, that was in the 80s, like 88, I think right. he crossed over. But right. I honestly am not attached as much to things. No, no, I, I, I understand. But this is an interest, a very interesting yeah. conversation that I think. I think my mom was really hurt. Right, yes. Um, a very a interesting home. thing that's he had happening a coin here. Collection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, this woman was already wealthy and she came in and just took everything. That's not really why I called in. <laughs> but so tell I, me why uh, you called in. <laughs> well, um, I'm still, I am getting physically ill at this nonprofit I'm working at. It's There's just some toxic energy. I really need a different position. I sent out my resume today. We got two feet of snow, so we had a snow day, so I was able to stay oh my in, God. send out some resumes. Um, I've been placing my flyer about my business in places and i'm feeling more confident for that so you got Um, a call after i put your uh your um website but i only put it in one of my facebook and i'm gonna put it on the big one okay tonight so i'll put it again so let's see if you get more more people from there do you um like i don't know why these two women at this nonprofit are just being mean to me and I don't know if I should say anything to the CEO or if I should just leave quietly. Um, um, I work really hard. What do you feel about leaving? Is that something you want to do? Do you feel okay leaving or not really? Yeah, I want to leave. I'm, I'm, I'm doing. Because if you want to leave, there's no reason of saying a word. If you okay. want to stay, then you can stand up for yourself. It depends. Okay. You know, I want to leave. Exactly. I want higher pay. I want to feel yeah, value. Then that, that's, pro- that's one pro- one of the reasons that all these women are doing what I'm doing because you meant to leave that place, actually. Okay. I sent out my resume to an acupuncturist today and to the Mac mm-hmm. store, to the Mac right. store, which um, I just really need work. and. You will. You will have it. But I want it soon, Carmen. I don't. You mentioned last week that it was February. I want it like next week. Then write yourself a letter and tell yourself okay. that you need this. You know, and I mean, work with um, with manifesting this through the way okay. you you um, write it down. Write it down. Said I. Talk to your own future. You know. Talk okay. to your I can do that. higher self. You know. Tell them I need this right now. I can't wait. Tell, okay. tell the spirit guy of your grandfather, yeah. help me get this oh. job. Okay. And you will be amazed to see that help will come through him. Oh, really? If they okay. exist, spirit guide or guidance in another dimension is actually, in my opinion, coming from uh, those who we were related to. You know? Hmm. I, I feel but, like... Uh, but nobody I was related to was really evolved. They were all... Uh, you don't know. You actually don't really know. Okay. How much time did you spend with your grandfather? Not a lot. He died when I was 18. So not a lot. So you didn't quite get to know him so well, you know? No, but he was a so Christian. So probably you and... had a, you, you had probably not the right opinion about him because at that point in life you didn't quite know too much yourself either, you know? It's true. My last question quickly is I'm concerned about my sister. I just found out she has bronchitis and she tends to hold everything in. And um, I love her dearly. Her name is Gigi. And she actually changed her last name to. to but to I think gra- that bronchitis is something that can be healed. Yeah. Uh, and it should be healed right away with uh, antibiotics. It's something that might, sometimes yeah. you might need an inhaler or an anti-inflammatory, but it can be really healed. So I don't think you should be that worried about her. But she didn't tell me my mom did, and she doesn't like me to get involved in her business because I don't know why. Suggesting things at least to your mom to tell her that will be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, she's going to be okay. Show that you care, yeah. 
Yeah. I send love a her. letter that you care. If she, if you don't okay. talk to her, send something send in a writing. Letter. Okay. Yeah, write a letter. I recommend people writing letters. It's it's just beautiful. I do it, but not to her. Yeah, because it okay. stays. It's in writing and it stays. So. Oh, I'm glad I found out about the coins. Yes. Thank you. Okay, and and the connection that you have with your grandfather goes back to a different time. So okay, yeah, reach yeah. out to him and ask him for guidance and just let me know if because I really feel uh, that, that the the help will will come um, sooner than you think, you know. Okay, great for the job. That yeah, absolutely yeah. Okay, great. I'm ready to make good money. Okay, thank you, okay, Carmen. Okay, Lelani. Happy love Thanksgiving. You. I love Happy you more. Thank love you. you. Bye. And for everybody listening, thank you for um, uh, listening to tonight's episode of Miracle Guidance. And if you enjoy, just um, send me your question, comments, Carmen Hara. Well. I'm Dr. Carmen Hara, and happy Thanksgiving, everybody. I'm sending you love, good energy, and peace. And for, don't forget about oneness, togetherness, uh, and, uh, and celebration. It's the time to celebrate. I love you.